Okay, so my camera vanished over eight months ago, and I thought someone stole it. Well, here recently, it started sending me thousands of pictures over the whole time it was gone. I got some very interesting things I need to show you guys. Oh, do I have a surprise for you guys? So hopefully by now you've seen Brandy's video over on Count It All Joy. If you haven't, um, go over there and check it out. She did an arrival video. An arrival video of our very first livestock guardian dog. And um, I think Brandy's got a name, but I think she's going to share that with you on her channel. So you got to go there and subscribe to Brandy at Count All Joy so you can keep up with the new puppy. What are you doing, boy? What you doing? Huh? Huh? What you doing? So, he is a male. Hence he. And he is huge. Huge, huge, huge. I want to call him Big Hoss. <laughs> Big Hoss, you, you want out to play, don't you? You have been playing all day. So, when I say playing all day, we uh, let him out and let him roam around. And uh, we know eventually he's going to be protector of the homestead. And we got to train him when he's young. We just got him yesterday. Time you guys see this, it might, we might have him for a few days. Um, but he's doing awesome. We got him from Brandon um, Eddie from Eddie Family Farm. And um, he's got a whole litter of them over there. So if you guys are looking for one, hit him up and say, uh, Dad sent me over here to get, get one of the puppies. But look at him. You've already got your pool all dirty. You did, you got your pool all dirty. <laughs> I hope you get 150, 160 pounds. I hope you're just huge. You're too big to fit through there, buddy. Yes, you are. You're too big. Get back in there. All right, I'm going to leave you alone. Get back in there. There you go. So we have converted the old pig pen where the uh, Pooney Coonies are at to his new little home for now. So if you caught one of the videos, one of my last videos, I talked about um, we're going to be clearing a bunch of this and we're going to be putting up a fence for a big lot for different animals. Um, you guys know we traveled and um, to the max to look at their setup. Um, I want to raise pigs. I want to have little piglets on the farm um, so we can actually provide them for our family and for other families at the church and wherever else, you know, if we want to sell some, we can. Um, but that's my, that's my thinking. I want to raise pigs and provide them for family members and, and friends. And also we want to get some other animals too. So Brandon actually had a litter of puppies. And I was like, man, we might as well get one now and surprise Hopi with it. Hopi's been wanting a dog, so surprise Hopi with it. Um, get it now. In time we get everything set up, maybe it'll be of age where it can start protecting the, the um, animals and all that in the homestead. Um, so we're going to have to do some research on exactly how to train them. I know you don't train them like our guard dogs, Gabby and Gracie. It might be good to let them out together eventually. So they can train them somewhat but i know they got a lot of natural instinct and you don't want us to interact with them like we would these dogs i guess that's what i'm trying to say because it's strictly for whatever and protect our homestead for all the um, animals we're going to have you know so i'm pretty excited about it um, we've been on the fence for several years about getting one timing wasn't right we just didn't really know if we needed one yet but as we grow our homestead 100 percent we're going to need a big male besides me, <laughs> to protect our stuff and our animals and my kids and my wife, me. Um, so yeah, that's why we got him. And you'll see a lot of him over on Brandy's channel. Like I said, count it all joy. Go subscribe, keep up with all the new videos. She's gonna have the puppy and all the other animals. So um, here a while back, I told you guys, I had a camera that I had out in, our, in my hunting area and it like disappeared. I thought someone had stolen it. I counted it as a loss. It was off, I think, for eight months, maybe a little longer, eight months around there. Um, and all of a sudden, it came back on and sent me very interesting photos. And um, I'm going to attempt to make my way out there to retrieve it. I think I could find it. It's all grown up now. When I stuck it out there, it was during the fall and winter, and it was very clear. But I think I could find it. And uh, once I go get it and retrieve it, I'm going to show you guys a lot of, um, of the pictures that I got. We got a lot of different wildlife. Um, we got some crazy people on there. Um, I say crazy. You'll see. You'll see. Um, but, but we have the perfect thing to go test it. Um, I've had an electric bike for several years now. The two that we had 
we actually gifted to some family members that were living in the city and they are using them to navigate the city for free. Um, obviously they charge the batteries. But today we have a new bike that we're gonna be showing you guys. So if there's something y'all are interested in, there'll be links and stuff down below. Um, but I'm gonna use this for hunting, I'm gonna use it for the creek. Um, so I don't have to have a, I don't have to get on my side by side every time I need to do something quick around here. We can jump on the electric bike. Check it out. So literally been testing it out, been driving around, and I have found some very interesting things on this one that my old ones didn't have. And the girls absolutely love the other ones. This one's bigger and beefier for me. Um, it's too big for the girls, but it's gonna be perfect for me. And where I'm going to show you guys where this camera's at, it's um, at the refuge and you can't have motorized vehicles, I guess, but you can have mountain bikes and assist, assistant electric bikes, you might say. No gas power, like four wheelers and side by sides out there. I already know my friends that hunt out there are gonna be borrowing this because it is a game changer when it goes to the refuge. The thing about the refuge where we hunt, it's thousands of acres, but you have to either walk all the way in there or take a truck and then drive all the way. I mean, it is crazy with a trail bike, I'm calling it the trail mountain bike, electric bike like this, it's gonna be awesome. So let's get busy, I'm gonna load it up and uh, we're gonna go out there and try to retrieve the camera. Okay, I just got to the spot and I'm taking a bath in this because it's gonna be tick city down in there. <coughs> Area in the woods here, there are rattlesnakes. So, I ordered some snake, not boots, but like shin guards. I'm gonna put those on and then uh, we're gonna go retrieve, hopefully retrieve this camera, hopefully find it before it gets dark. We'll see. Okay, well I'm figuring out how to put these on. Let me tell you a little bit about this bike before we go into the trail. Okay, I'm testing out the new Ingway X24 1200-watt 19.2 amp-hours all-terrain e-bike. So this thing actually has amazing endurance. Um, the X24 brings a powerful 19.2 amp-hour plus 10 amp-hour dual batteries, which offers up to 54 miles at electric mode level 5 and 149 miles at the pass mode level 1. That's unheard of. Um, worth the range and a 31 mile per hour max speed, which I'm not doing that today. I promise you that. What's awesome about this, you're about to see me go up this big hill. may not look as bad on camera, but I'm telling you, take more for it, it's big. Um, the X24 is equipped with a triple shock system, extending from its front hydraulic shock to a middle mechanical shock to the rear air shock, which excels from other e-bikes at three times more powerful shock absorbance than normal e-bikes. So the all-terrain 24-inch fat tire, the one-piece wheels that combine spoke and frame for ultimate stability while fighting uh, compression better than other e-bike wheels. It enables you through all the rough terrain, which you're about to see, for comfortable riding. All right, if this is something you guys are interested at all, click the link in the video description. Ingway is celebrating its new product release. You can sign up and get early bird price, um, get $100 off on the X-Series products, and sign up to get um, in on the gifts. All right, let's navigate through this thick stuff and go find that camera. Okay, we're to the location I'm going to stop. It's pretty thick in here. Let's go try to find the camera. This is where I missed that big buck last year. I'm gonna try to walk the ridge line, looks a little clearer, and watch out for copperheads and rattlesnakes for sure. I feel more comfortable having these shin guards on. They're snake proof, but still, it's dangerous. Uh, Brandy and the girls know where I'm at. My truck's parked right where everyone can see it, they know where I'm at, so if they don't hear from me in like 20 minutes, 30 minutes, an hour, they'll come looking for me, or I'll call them. I hope you guys know I'm doing this for y'all. <laughs> I'm doing it for you guys. I'm retrieving this from the deep woods to give you guys a little entertainment tonight because I could have just left this out here for a couple more months when I knew the snakes were going to be gone and all that and not have to worry about anything. But it's for you, it's for you guys. So 
So, right there is where I missed the big buck from up there. Turns out it was my sight it was real loose and I didn't know it. The camera should be about 30 yards back this way. I mean, we are deep in the woods, probably three quarters of a mile. Wow, that's a big tree that broke. Big old tree broke up there. You guys can see just how rocky it is out here. Perfect habitat for all sorts of wildlife. There's the camera. What's crazy, for some reason, I, had, I thought I'd face it the other way, but I guess not. So I found it. All right, let's get it and get out of here. Hello, lost camera. I thought you were stolen. And there, look what I found right next to the camera. You guys ain't gonna believe what I just found. Someone else's arrow. That's an old aluminum one. There's no telling how long that's been there. So as you will see, we had several people on camera, and we'll talk about that here in a little bit. So that makes me wonder if they're hunting in another tree up here to be able to shoot right there or what. Pretty interesting. But let's get out of here before it gets too dark on us. And I'm glad I got my camera because now we're going to set this up at the house. Um, try to catch that coyote live. And a pro tip, I don't know if I told you guys this earlier, when you're going into the woods where you know there's ticks, tuck in your shirt. It helps from them crawling up your pant leg up into your body. Um, most times you can get them as they're on your shirt. Just a little heads up there for some of you city folk that may not know that. on the bike again. Tell you what, so far so good with this bike. It's actually gonna save me a lot of time and energy around the homestead, around the creek property and hunting. All right, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna tie this down somehow. I'll be back, I'm gonna try to tie this camera down on here. Okay, <laughs> I got it down. Let's get out of here. That was a little crazy. <laughs> said so we tracked in there there and back a mile and a half so we're three quarters of a mile back in there and uh that took me not near as long as it would have so so far this is a pretty impressive bike for what it is this is awesome
Okay, we are back at the house. It's the next day. I'm gonna take you guys to go set the camera up. We actually had a chicken pass away yesterday. I'm actually gonna use it for a lure for the coyote trap. So I won't show you putting the chicken in there or anything like that, but I'm gonna show you putting the camera up on um, a tree so maybe we could get this uh, coyote lured back in so me and Hope can go hunting again soon to try to get it. We have one that hangs out there all the time. Okay, we're actually gonna ride the bike out to the pond area with my bucket and my camera and get this all set up. And uh, if you guys were wondering, this actually came in a box. It literally took 20 minutes tops to put this together. It was super simple, super easy to do. Um, so if this is something you guys are interested, like I said earlier, links down below. It's heavy duty, bulky, trail rider it fits my size like that's that's how awesome it is it is heavy duty i can't wait to get it out on the trails at the um, creek property okay the trap's been set so this trap's been out here for months i'm gonna go ahead and put the dead chicken inside there and then set the camera up over there and that will send us live pictures when the coyote comes or anything else. Okay, let's get the camera off here. Okay, I got it set up and we're ready to go. Yeah, wish us luck on the Cody, at least getting it in. Maybe we can get it patterned down again and see when they are coming through here because it's like almost every night um, whenever we were having cameras out and checking and stuff like that. So, okay, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, smash that like button. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Stay tuned to see if we get the Cody on camera. And I hope you guys enjoyed all these pictures that I've been showing you guys. Um, really, really interesting. That all said, it comes back online over eight months later and has all these awesome pictures. Wildlife, pigs, deer, uh, people walking through there with guns when they're not supposed to. Um, just all kinds of cool stuff. So I hope you enjoyed it.